Hi friends, my name is Iklas Chan Kuti and today I am going to deliver a presentation on the topic of scientific review presentation on cellulose ether with my colleague Chaitali Deshmukh and Mamta Dhotri. Abbreviation Cell E is for cellulose, cell E for cellulose ether, CMC for sodium carboxymethyl cellulose, MC for methyl cellulose, HTC for hydroxy ethyl cellulose, HPC for hydroxy propyl cellulose, MHPC for methyl propyl. Uh, Ethyl hydroxy propyl cellulose, EHEC for ethyl hydroxy ethyl cellulose, EC for ethyl cellulose, DS for degree of substitution, and respectively DP for degree of polymerase. Abstract. This review covers the preparation, properties, and applications of cellulose ether. The influence of chemical modifications, uh, modification of cellulose is also discussed. Cellulose ethers are widely available in China, Eastern Europe, and Asia. Cellulose are generally prepared by three stages. First is Massarization, etherification, and separation and purification. Introduction Cellulose ethers are polymers produced by the chemical modifications of cellulose. The cellulose ethers are include CMC, that is carboxy methyl cellulose, MC for methyl cellulose, HEC for hydroxy ethyl cellulose, HPC for hydroxy propyl cellulose, MHPC for methyl hydroxy propyl cellulose. Cellulose ethers perform a variety of functions such as thickening, binding, soil anti redeposition and acting as a protective collide in many industries and these cellulose ethers are nowadays used in many industries such as constructional industries silicate industries uh, food industry and all possible ether forming reaction here in this reaction the alcohol group that is r bond oh reacts with the alkyl alkyl chloride group that is r dash cl group to form ether and the byproduct form is hydrogen chloride these are the chemical steps in the synthesis of cellulose. First is formation of alkali cellulose. Here in this reaction that is alcohol group reacts with the sodium hydroxide group to form alkali cellulose and the byproduct form is H2O that is water. And the formation of cellulose alcohol takes place by reacting alkali cellulose with the CLCSC that is methyl chloride to form our final product that is cellulose ether and the final product form is sodium chloride where R is an anhydrous glucose radical and R1 is hydrogen or CS3. So hi guys, uh, this is the uh, basic reactions of uh, industrial electrification. In this slide, uh, cellulose will uh, undergo three uh, reaction steps. That is, uh, it will react. Firstly, it, re it will react with the uh, carboxylic acid uh, group, and second with the ethyl ethyl ether group, and third uh, with the methyl chloride. So in the first step, it, it will give carboxymethyl cellulose, that is CMC, and it will uh, give the byproduct, that is NaCl and H2O. Then in second step, it will give carboxy ethyl cellulose and in third step, while reacting it with uh, uh, methyl chloride, it will give methyl cellulose, methyl hydroxy ethyl cellulose, that is MHEC and it will give the byproduct NaCl plus H2O. So moving on to the uh, next slide. So, uh, these are the typical structures of cellulose ether. Uh, the first uh, one is showing hydroxy uh, propyl cellulose and uh, second one is showing uh, the structure of carboxy methyl cellulose and uh, last but not least that is methyl cellulose structure. Now, uh, moving on to the uh, next slide that is uh, which involves etherifying agents, co-product and by-product from the production of cellulose ether which is showing in the tabular form that is uh, cellulose ether, etherifying agents, co-product and uh, last but not least uh, that is byproducts. So first is methyl that is methyl cellulose uh, having the etherifying agents that is methyl chloride and it will give the uh, co-product that is NaCl and uh, the byproduct for this is uh, methanol that is CH3OH and dimethyl ether that is CH3OCH3. Then uh, second one is ethyl that is ethyl cellulose EC and having the etherifying agent CHCl and uh, co-product is NaCl and uh, the byproduct for this is ethanol that is CH3OH and uh, dimethyl ether. Then third one is hydroxy ethyl cellulose and having for this it having uh, ethyl, ethylene oxide and the co-product is uh, uh, having no uh, co-product over here and third one is the byproduct that is 
ethylene glycol and uh, fourth one is hydroxypropyl cellulose and it does having ethylene uh, the ethylifying agents that is propylene um, propylene oxide and for this uh, there is no co-product and having the byproduct that is uh, propylene glycol and polymers uh, thereof then last but not least that is carboxymethyl cellulose that is cmc having the ethylifying agents uh, chloroacetic acid and having the co-product uh, nacl that is sodium chloride and it does having the byproduct uh, glycolic acid so uh, last this uh, this uh, slide uh, involves the preparation of cellulose ether which involves the following steps that is mercerization ethylification separation and purification in mercerization uh, this process uh, in this process 30 to 70% nh solution is sprayed onto dry cellulose powder in fast turning dry mixing aggregates then second step is ethylification in this process cellulose ether are produced in slurry systems here reactions are carried out in organic systems in order to produce final slurry because ethylification reaction is exothermic organic solvents are selected in order to produce uniform alkali cell that is cellulose some unreactive surfactants and uh, amines have been added into organic systems to improve penetration and swelling then uh, last step in was separation and purification in this step any sodium hydroxide that is naoh that is not consumed during the ethylification process must be neutralized shortly after the end of the process then uh, the crude cellulose ether that is cell e that are not soluble in hot water are washed with water at 80 to 90 degree celsius that is a range of temperature in which it is going to be washed then crude cellulose ether that are soluble in hot water are then purified with mixture of solvent and water these are the industrial process of cellulose ether cellulose is a taken in a form of a base sheets and roll after that the cellulose is a grinded into a fine powder or powder then the cellulose powder is a fed through a reaction taken or ether after the reactor cellulose powder is a fed through the washing bath in you know, a washing of cellulose powder takes place by detergent next the watering and granulating powder takes place wet grinding consists of a two step after uh, consists of two step dry and dry grinding the drying step is a further process is to screening after that mixing sacking and cellulose ether are takes place next is the uh, next process is moving on uh, properties of cellulose ether cellulose ether is generally toxic in nature very stable for these are a very stable polymer has a resistance to moisture sunlight resistance to moderate temperature pollutants cellulose ether are decomposes decomposes in air up to 520 degree celsius cellulose ether has a low dp than the cellulose next application of cellulose ether used in a silicate industry food in industry pharmaceutical industry chemical industry construction industry agriculture agriculture industry and also used in the molding material and surface coating these are our references we to manufacturing the cellulose of ether this is our presentation thank you